Hello friends and welcome to edupediawall.com. In today's video we're going to talk about the interrogative pronouns and how to ask in Spanish. So how do we ask in Spanish? Well, there are two types of questions, preguntas, okay? Those that are yes or no questions and those are questions seeking for more detailed information. Each of them are differently, are, are formed differently. So, let's we'll start with the yes no questions. They are extremely easy to form, to do. In writing, you just put question marks around the statement you want to answer or you want answered. And in speaking, you have to change the intonation. Just be aware that there is not a translation for do death, right? So don't try to find that in Spanish when asking or answering yes, no questions, okay? So, in summary, once again, I'm writing, you just put the question marks on the beginning at the end of the sentence, and in speaking, you just like change your voice, you raise your, your, the pitch of your voice at the end of the question. That's it, and then try to look for the do death particle. So uh, an example would be, the statement would be, hablas español, you speak Spanish, and the question would be, hablas español, you have the question marks, and uh, remember that we have funky punctuation marks in Spanish, uh, they are almost the same, but we had an upside down question mark at the beginning of the sentence. Just don't forget about that, okay? And also, uh, something happens with exclamation point. Uh, you have to add them at the beginning and the, uh, the end of the statement. And the one at the beginning goes upside down, so it happens with question marks. And it's in English, you just have to change the intonation of your voice to, to use it, okay? Also, there are a bunch of question words or interrogative pronouns in Spanish. And from now on, we're gonna just like take a look at them and try to translate them and understand their use with some examples, okay? So, let's go for it. You probably know that this already. ¿Qué? What? ¿Qué? ¿Qué te gusta comer? What do you like to eat? We know every single word in this sentence already. ¿Qué te gusta comer? ¿Cómo? How? You probably know this one already too. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? We have already used this. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cuándo? When? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo terminas las clases? When do you finish, finish your classes? Terminas from the verb terminar, regular verb. Um, ¿Cuándo terminas las clases? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánta? How much? ¿Cuánto? For masculine nouns. ¿Cuánta? For feminine nouns. ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánta? ¿Cuánto cuesta? How much is it? ¿Cuánta lechuga quieres? How much lettuce do you want? Lechuga, lettuce, quieres? The verb querer, to want, uh, is irregular, so we've seen, seen it uh, later on. Now the same, but plural. ¿Cuántos, cuántas? How many? Again, cuántos masculine. ¿Cuántos bombones comes? How many chocolates do you eat? Comes from the verb comer, regular. And cuántas female? ¿Cuántas veces te cambias de ropa? How many times do you change your clothes? 
Cam cambias frente verbo cambiar to change also regular ¿Dónde? Where? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde vives? What do you live? ¿Vives? Vivir, regular. ¿Por qué? You probably know this already. ¿Por qué? Why? It goes, it, it goes separately, ¿ok? Separate. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Why? ¿Por qué estás aquí? Why are you here? Aquí, here. ¿Por qué estás aquí? Be aware that por qué uh, has two words. Okay, two different words. If you use it together, if you put them together, that's the answer, not the question. ¿Para qué? For what or what for? ¿Para qué? Again, two questions. Formed by the, by the preposition and the interrogative pronoun. ¿Para qué necesitas el abrigo? For what do you need the coat? What for do you need the coat? Okay, abrigo, coat. Necesitas, from necesitar, regular verb, to need. ¿Para qué necesitas el abrigo? ¿A dónde? Where? To where? Where to? Again, formed by two different words, preposition and interrogative pronoun. ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde vamos? Where are we going to? Vamos is from, it comes from the verb ir, to go. Don't worry about it. We'll, it's irregular and we'll see it later on. ¿A dónde vamos? Where are we going to? De dónde? Once again, to the two words, to separate words, preposition, um, interrogative pronoun. De dónde? From where? Where? Where from? Okay. De dónde? De dónde eres? Where are you from? We know this already too. De dónde eres? Eres to be ser. Okay. ¿De dónde eres? ¿Quién? ¿Quién es? Who? ¿Quién? Who en singular. ¿Quién es? Who en plural. ¿Quiénes son tus profesores? Who are your professors? Who are your teachers? Profesores, professors and teachers. Ok, both. ¿Quiénes son tus profesores? ¿Quién es tu amigo? Who is your friend? Amigo, friend, we know that. ¿Quién es tu amigo? ¿A quién? ¿A quiénes? Again, to what? Preposition and interrogative uh, pronoun. ¿A quién? ¿A quiénes? ¿Whom? Single and plural. ¿A quién le haces el desayuno? To whom are you cooking breakfast? ¿De quién? Whose? Again, to what? ¿De quién son estos? Whose are these? You could say, ¿de quién son estos abrigos? Whose are these coats? We'll learn in the video today. ¿De quién son estos zapatos? Whose are these shoes? Okay. ¿Cuál? Which? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? 
¿Cuál es tuyo? Which is yours. Which one is yours? ¿Ok? Which, which one could be cuál. ¿Cuál es tuyo? Which is yours. ¿Cuál es? Which ones? ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuáles son mis guantes? Which ones are my gloves? Guantes, gloves. ¿Cuáles son mis guantes? Which ones are my gloves? So, notice that all question words have accents in them and this different differentiate them down from the non-question counterparts, okay? So, you remember to put, to memorize um, the, the, the accents of the words. So, they seem questions. Don't worry, at the beginning it might look hard or something, but if you use the question marks properly, you won't have any trouble. Just remember that the war is coming as an interrogation, interrogative uh, pronoun with a question mark needs, always needs, needs the accent, okay? And this was everything I have to tell you today about the interrogative pronouns. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the next one, we're going to learn the negatives and negative words, negative pronouns, if you want to say it like that. And uh, once again, thank you for watching and hasta la próxima. See you later.